Hi everybody and welcome to All Creatures Animal Hospital Puppy Class. This is Gabby and I am doing our Thanksgiving PowerPoint um, today just to talk about the safeties. Um, I know we did not get to do my Halloween one due to some technical difficulties um, so I apologize for that but I wanted to do a Thanksgiving one um, and we'll definitely be doing one for the holidays um, coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, but today we're going to be talking about again Thanksgiving safeties. So just things to look out for because I know there's a lot of things that we don't think about um, and you know we want to have our pets as a part of the celebration. Um, I know I definitely do. There's things I want to give them, do extra special things, toys, gifts, things like that. Um, so we'll just talk about some things that you can do. Um, so again, welcome to All Creatures Animal Hospital Puppy Class. My name is Gabby. I'm one of the veterinary assistants here at All Creatures Animal Hospital. So we're going to talk about Thanksgiving puppy and kitty safety because it's not just about the pups. The kitties have to be safe too. Um, so we'll talk about some treats to avoid. So we definitely want to avoid giving bits of turkey, turkey skin, um, stuffing, rolls, things like that. Um, especially with our meats, um, having even just a small amount can cause pancreatitis, um, which can be really painful for these guys and cause a lot of um, GI upset as well as having to have a hospitalization stay with getting fluids um, and it can be really costly as well so avoid giving those things um, and there's other treats that we can think about or talk about in a few minutes um, that you can give instead to feel like you're giving them a little extra something special that they can enjoy while you're having your meal um, and cooking throughout the day so definitely want to avoid those things. Also want to make sure that you're keeping um, the trash in a safe place um, because trash, you know, can definitely get tipped over by some of our bigger pups um, and getting into things they're not supposed to with finding like bones, wrappers. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that you're keeping the trash, you know, trash can somewhere safe, um, under a cabinet, in a different room, um, taking the trash out a little more frequently on that day as you're um, cooking and cleaning things up um, so that's definitely something to think about I've had a, a husky mix that loved to knock over the trash and get into things that she wasn't supposed to so <laughs> it is a real thing that happens so make sure you keep that safe um, another thing are decorative plants um, which I did not I messed up the spelling on that it says plants but it meant to say plants um, so making sure those are kept in a safe place where especially our kitties you know that are up on tables and counters can't get to um, plants to look out for um, are baby's breath sweet William plants some ferns hydrate hydrangeas um, those ones you know you definitely want to make sure are not available for them to chew on as well as even fake plants you know having little bits of the string or the fake leaves and um, those can get stuck and cause like a foreign body in their system which can cause a blockage of some sort so definitely want to make sure that we have things that our little fur babies can't get into or destroy that can cause harm so I talked about some fun little dog and cat treats so you can find something fun to give them um, while you're having your Thanksgiving dinner um, or maybe even getting some new toys find a couple toys that you can introduce on Thanksgiving Day that's something new giving the cats maybe some catnip um, finding a cool toy that's more interactive for them um, for dogs you can get them maybe some cookies some dog cookies um, some of their favorite dog treats just to give a few or a bigger dog bone like a rock hide that we've talked about in our previous video something that they can chew on that keeps them busy so they're getting something fun and not feeling like they're missing out um, when you're cooking and having all these other different treats that you don't have on a daily basis some other foods too you know making sure that candy isn't available you know chocolate is toxic sugar-free candies anything that contains xylitol those are toxic as well grapes, raisins, um, you know, so there are a few things that you just want to look out for, so make sure that there is nothing um, available or on a low table that these guys can get into. Um, some other tips are going to be when it comes to Thanksgiving travel, so 
This year is a little different. It's not as much traveling, but I know some people are still going to be traveling to family if you feel like it's safe, um, even with COVID going on right now. So if you are traveling um, on a plane, um, a lot of airlines require what's called a health certificate for traveling. Um, so you need to make sure that you're touching base with your airlines and seeing if that's something that's required, um, as well as making sure that vaccines are up to date. Um, I know like Delta has a little form that's needed to fill out which requires an exam and an appointment with the doctor so make sure you're double checking that you don't need any kind of health certificate for travel because if you do you definitely want to call as soon as possible to get an appointment um, because it always gets crazy right before the holidays plus here at the clinic we're closed on Thursday on Thanksgiving and we close early the day before on Wednesday the 25th at 3 o'clock um, and we won't have actual doctor's appointments so that's something you want to plan for ahead of time. There are other things that we can give too for traveling to make traveling easier. You know, a sedative if you feel like your pet does get stressed out during travel, whether it's in the car or on an airplane. Um, so that is something you can call and ask about. Um, there are different supplements um, or medications that we can prescribe um, to help, but it may require an exam. So again, you wanna make sure you're reaching out to see if you need an appointment so we can get something on the books um, to make your travels as smooth as possible. Um, you also want to make sure that when you are traveling with all the traffic and things like that, your pet is restrained properly. And there is a video on this Facebook page as well as on our YouTube channel that I've talked about car safety that talks about different ways that these guys can travel. So making sure they're either in a carrier, they have a harness that's attached to a seatbelt so that they're safe in the car while traveling. And it also keeps you safe too. Your pet's not jumping on your lap um, and causing any kind of distraction that can um, you know hinder you when you're driving um, so that's definitely important and we also want to make sure we're not leaving our pets alone in the vehicle even though um, the weather may be nice it's always hotter in the car even though it's cold outside um, there's not as much oxygen circulation so never leave your pets alone if you need to board them somewhere or leave them with a friend um, especially if you're having guests um, or running into a store it's always good to leave them in a safe um, place so I also loved this little, um, I guess, infographic that I found um, that just kind of talked about some of the tips we already talked about. Um, but it just talks about no pets in the kitchen, so a hungry pet can get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> um, so again, like making sure the trash can um, is up so they can't get into anything they're not supposed to, you know, in case you're dropping stuff, you know, maybe keeping them locked out of the kitchen while you're in the craziness of cooking a Thanksgiving dinner. That's definitely important. And then stuff yourself not the pets so making sure that they're not getting any kind of the rich thanksgiving foods that we have like pumpkin pie that has different spices that they shouldn't have um the turkey gravy things like that also making sure that there is no alcoholic drinks um, or open containers left out because that can be toxic to dogs um, so making sure you're not leaving something out where they can drink out of it lick out of it you know some of these guys are very curious so we want to make sure we're keeping them safe and again it talks about taking out the trash too so in addition to not having them in the kitchen making sure that they're not getting into the leftovers there um, so just make sure you are just paying attention and keeping everything safe um, for these guys so you and your pet can have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. So again, happy Thanksgiving from All Creatures Animal Hospital. And if you do have any questions or concerns, you can always give us a call at the clinic. Um, we're here every day from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. My name is Gabby and I'm one of the vet assistants here at All Creatures. Um, and we will be back um, next time with another puppy class video on a new topic. So I hope you guys join us next week.